In this module, we examined several strategies to consider when tackling data sufficiency questions. Now to begin, whenever you encounter a data sufficiency question, it's often a good idea to ask, what are the possible answers to the target question? Is this a yes-no question, or does it ask you to find a certain value? Knowing the range of possible answers to the target question will help you determine whether each statement provides enough information to reduce the list of possible answers down to just one answer. Another good question to ask before examining the two statements is, what information would help answer the target question? By identifying information that would help answer the target question, you may gain some insight into whether the two statements are sufficient. Now, if the target question includes additional information, you should summarize the information and assign any variables if necessary. It's also a good idea to rephrase the target question. In rephrasing the target question, your goal should be to simplify the question so that it is easier to determine whether the statements provide enough information to answer the target question. At this point, you should read both statements and begin with the easier statement. Doing so will help you avoid common traps, as well as help you gain insight into the question, build confidence, and guide you if you are forced to guess. Now, as you examine each statement, ask, does this statement provide sufficient information to answer the target question? Be sure to remind yourself what the target question is asking. This will help you avoid some common mistakes. Now, if you feel that a certain statement may be insufficient, you might consider using the table method to help organize your thoughts. For data sufficiency questions involving geometry, do not estimate lengths and angles since the figures are often drawn to mislead test takers. Also remember that if the target question asks you to find a certain length, you will need at least one other length to answer the target question. Be sure to sketch the diagram on your scrap paper and add any information that you are given. And finally, to test the sufficiency of a statement, mentally grab and move points and lines on your diagram to determine whether the desired angle or length is fixed. Now, as you work through the statements, use the elimination method to determine the correct answer. And finally, if you are unable to answer a certain data sufficiency question and you are forced to guess, use the elimination method to eliminate incorrect answer choices before guessing. And if two statements provide equivalent information, then the correct answer must be either D or E. These are the strategies you should consider using when tackling all data sufficiency questions.